Hey, what is going on all you fantastic and amazing people and welcome back to another video. In today's video, I want to talk to you guys about should Fallout 76 stop releasing free content. The reason I'm deciding to discuss this topic here today is because the other day while browsing the forums, I seen a post that essentially inspired this video. And once I read the post, I'll kind of explain more of what I mean. So with that being said, let's go ahead and get straight into it. If you want to read it for yourself, a link can be found down below. But the post reads this, It's painfully apparent to me that Fallout 76 dev team is too small, as Bethesda is using most of its devs on Starfield and Elder Scrolls 6. But Fallout 76 needs bug fixes, quality of life changes, and new content. Now, I'm just going to break some stuff down here and we'll continue to read this in a second, and it'll be very quick. I do agree that Fallout 76 does need bug fixes, I do think Fallout 76 does need quality of life changes, and I definitely think it needs new content, just as many of you do. However, the Fallout 76 dev team is essentially Bethesda Game Studios Austin, and all of Bethesda Game Studios Austin is dedicated to Fallout 76. They have nothing to do with Starfield and the Elder Scrolls 6, as far as I know. So even though Starfield and Elder Scrolls 6 are in development, that shouldn't affect what Bethesda Game Studios Austin is doing with Fallout 76. Continuing with the article, it says, Since the only way Bethesda will put more devs on Fallout 76 is if it makes more money, I say stop giving us a small amount of free but buggy new content every few months and start making twice yearly huge expansion packs that will cost us around 50 bucks each. Maybe then Fallout 76 will get the attention it needs. Now, I don't agree with this post, but it did surprise me because in the comment section of this forum or in the forum discussion, whatever you want to call it, some people did agree with this person, and I understand where they're coming from. If a game makes more money, that means the developer is going to take that money, reinvest it in the game, so they can make even more money. And I get that. That is completely logical to say. However, I don't think Bethesda Game Studios should start charging for expansion packs for Fallout 76. And to be honest, I think if Bethesda Game Studios starts charging for Fallout 76 expansions, it will actually kill the game and not help it. And I'm going to explain why for a few reasons. One, we have to take in consideration the average fan. The average fan isn't going to want to drop $100 on DLC content per year for Fallout 76. I mean, if you look at most successful online games out there, they have maybe one major DLC a year if they're lucky. I mean, if you look at the Elder Scrolls Online and you look at Destiny 2, it's usually about one major update a year that costs around $40 or something like that. And although I do love Fallout 76, I don't think it's at the point where people are willing to pay $40 for the game. And that's not saying that the game is bad or terrible. We all know the game is better than it once was. Something else that you have to look at is Fallout 76 at this current moment in time is one of the number one play games on the Xbox Game Pass. And if you have Xbox Game Pass that cost 10 bucks a month, odds are if you're like me, you have it because video games are expensive and you really don't want to put more money into video games because you could use that money elsewhere in your life. And I think a lot of people who play Fallout 76 are people who play on Game Pass, so they don't have to spend a bunch of money on video games. So I think adding a $50 DLC to Fallout 76 would be a mistake in that aspect as well. Also, number three, the reason I think it is a really bad idea to start charging for expansions is because when Fallout 76 was first released, Bethesda Game Studios gave us a promise. And what that promise was is that they would never charge us for expansions when it comes to Fallout 76. And they haven't. The only thing that they've charged us for is the Atomic Shop and microtransactions, which they said they would from the very beginning. I believe the statement they made in the very beginning of the game was that they would never charge for content and the game would be supported for years to come through microtransactions. So to go back on their word and backpedal like that would probably upset a lot of fans and cause a lot of players to leave the game. And those three reasons are why I don't think Bethesda Game Studios should start charging us for future content when it comes to Fallout 76. 
Do I think more money would help Fallout 76? Absolutely. However, I just don't think it's smart from a business standpoint, and I've already explained why. And besides, I think Fallout 76 is doing great without yearly expansions that cost $50 or $60. I mean, but as the game studios took this game from what it was at launch to what it is now, and like I've said in my past couple of videos, and I'm sorry to sound like a broken record, what it is now is a much better overall game. It has tons of content with Wastelanders now and Steel Dawn. There's a lot more events to play. We have Season 4 just on the horizon and all the stuff that that's going to bring. And yeah, it is taking Bethesda Game Studios a little time to produce updates for Fallout 76. But in my opinion, if that's what it takes, that's what it takes. I think Fallout 76 is on the right path. And I think they're going to continue to head down the right path. And I think if they start charging for pe people for future content that comes to the game or expansions, that is down the wrong path. And that's something that shouldn't happen. But that's the game studios, in my opinion, should just keep doing what they're doing. Because they're doing a pretty decent job with Fallout 76, in my honest opinion. Sure, I wish there was more content. Sure, I wish the content was bigger and better. But that could be said with every game out there. I think it's just going to take a little time. I think now that Microsoft owns Bethesda Game Studios, they're going to invest a lot in Fallout 76, and I think the game is going to change very quickly in a good way because Microsoft now owns them. But to be honest, we just have to wait and see where the future takes us. We never know what's around the corner. I mean, Bethesda Game Studios three months from now could announce that there's a massive huge DLC that's coming. And it's going to introduce a new map. We honestly don't know. We just have to wait and see. And you could agree with me or disagree with me. But this is just my opinion on the matter as per usual. Let me know what you guys think in the comment section down below. Do you think Bethesda should start charging us for future expansions? What do you think is the best course of Bethesda Game Studios from here? Anyways, I love all of you. I hope to see you guys back here in the next one. But until then, remember to stay awesome. Bye bye everybody. Have a good one. And I'll see you next time. Peace out.